Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to do a program of Newton Raphson method in a Python language. Uh, let us briefly go through the Newton Raphson method. I have considered here a function x cube minus 3x minus 5 equal to 0. And for a condition of convergence, we are going to use a formula of f of x0 into f double dash of x0 divided by f dash of x0 bracket square should be less than 1. This is the condition of convergence for Newton Raphson method. And for finding out a root, we have a formula x1 equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0, where x1 equal to x0 plus h. So, for this two formulas, we required the value of f dash of x and f double dash of x. So, we differentiate the given function as a single derivative and a double derivative. After that, as the newton raphson method is a open method, so it is it will have only one initial guess. That initial guess we are going to consider by using a trial and error method. So, when I consider x0 equal to 2, I must find out the value of f of x0, f double dash of x0 and f dash of x0 and then I must put those value in this condition of convergence to check whether it is less than 1. If it is less than 1, then I should go for a further calculation. For further calculation, I have to make a table in which first column is a iteration number, second is of a initial guess, third is f of x0, f dash of x0 and the value of x1. Also, we are going to have fi find out the value of error or accuracy at a every iteration. So, for first iteration, the x0 value is 2, f of x0 value when we put x0 value in a given function, f dash of x0 value, when we put x0 value in f dash of x0 function and how to find the value of x1? x1 is find out x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 and after that we check the error, whether it is less than the accuracy, given accuracy. So, here I have considered the accuracy up to two decimal places that is 0 0.01. Then while substituting the value of a x1, x0, I will have the value of x1 of previous iteration as my x0 of a new iteration. Likewise, I will proceed further in a such a way that I will take the previous value of x1 to as a new value of x0. And further I will evaluate the value of x1 for each iteration and each iteration I am going to check the error. So, in third iteration as you can see the error is less than the accuracy that is 0 0.01. So, I have stopped here and that is my final answer which is 2.27902. Now, let us do the programming, do the coding in a python of Newton Raphson method. So, this was the code which we have already done for bisection method which you have already viewed in my previous video. Now, we are going to do some changes in the same code so that we can reach to the Newton Raphson method. So, instead of bisection method, I am going to name it as Newton Raphson method. As you all know, the hash represent a comment. So, it is not going to execute, it is going to just for our understanding. So, first line is going to have a define a function. So, in our case, the, the function is x cube minus 3 x minus 5. So, here I will edit this function x cube minus 3 x minus 5. Let me check function. Yes, x cube minus 3 x minus 5. So, also we have already found out the value of f dash of x0 and f double dash of x0 in a first step itself. So, I will define one more function as df which is a 
first derivative of the f of x. So when I say df, I should return a value of here it is x. So yes, it should have a value of 3 into x square minus 3. Yes, so 3 into x square minus 3. Also, I have to define one more function that is ddf which is a double derivative of a given function. So, I am going to have written. So, 3 x square minus 3, the derivative of this is 6 into x. Okay. Then, as I have told you, as it is a open method, so we are going to have only one initial guess. So, I will mention it in terms of x0, x0 equal to eval in bracket input bracket double inverted comma enter the initial guess x0. Think. Do I require a second initial guess? No, I do not require second initial guess. So, I will delete this line. Do I require the accuracy? Yes, I do require the accuracy. Also, I have represented n equal to 1 as by default value of any variable in this Python is 0. So, I need to define the iteration, the first iteration to be as 1. So, I have initialized n equal to 1. Then, I need to check the condition of convergence for a given value of x0. So, the condition of convergence in this case is f of x0 into f double dash of x0 divided by f dash of x0 bracket square should be less than 1. So, I will define, I will write a formula as in a condition of if, I will say if f of x0 into d d f of x0 divided by d f of x0 I will say into d f of x0. So, we will add some bracket so that we can recognize it properly. You take care of this parenthesis. Okay. So, it should be one more bracket on this side. I should have. So, now I will check the bracket. So, this is bracket for this. This is bracket for this. Yes, correct. This could be the bracket for this. Okay. Okay. And here the condition of convergence is less than 1. What I will do? I will state it as greater or equal to 1. Why I am stating it as? reverse direction reversely because I want to give a in a message to the user that your initial guesses are wrong. If I goes beyond this condition that is if it is greater than or equal to 1, it should be message delivered to the user that your initial guess is wrong. Okay? Your initial guess x0 is wrong. You can say x0 is wrong. Further, we are going to have else then we are going to print in a tabular form. So, we need a heading. So, this line 14 line represent a heading. Then, we must place a value of condition of accuracy. So, here I am going to have x1 minus x0. So, what will happen if I mention x1 minus x0? It is going to show me an error. What error it will show? It will be undefined name as x1. So, I must define the value of x1 previously. So, that value of x1 previously we need to define 
by using a formula of x1 equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0. So this is the formula which we have used for finding out the value of x1 in a case of a Newton Raphson method. So now the error has been gone because we have defined the value of x1 prior to the while loop. Okay. Then after reaching as we have calculated the value of x1 we must go to next iteration that is second iteration. But before going to the second iteration we must take care of this condition in a while loop. So, what is my condition x1 minus x0 modulus of x1 minus x0 should be greater than accuracy. Why I am mention it as greater than accuracy then and then only it, it will go to the next iteration. If it is less than accuracy then directly it will execute the program after or end the program after 15th line. Okay. So, to keep the program running on so we need to have it should be greater than the accuracy. After uh, after calculating for a first iteration, we must go to x0 equal to x1. Okay. x0 equal to x1 represents replacing the new x0 with a previous x1 value that is a previous iteration value. And again, we must find out the value of x1 that is new x1 as we have replaced the value of x0. Okay. Then do we require this one? No, we do not require this product because it has been required for a bisection method. We do not require it. Even we do not require this condition as well. What we require is the addition to the iteration that is n equal to n plus 1. And do we require else? No, we do not require else. Also, we want to print the iteration value and the value of a root. So, here again it is going to show me an error because c is a undefined in this case. So, I have to write x1 as it is defined. And the last sentence will be get modified to x1. The value of root is x1. So, let us run this program. Uh, I have already saved this program by nrm method. I will directly run this program. So, you can see enter the initial gate. So, as I can enter 0 as my initial gate, first of all, I will have 0 0.01 and I will say enter. So, as you can see, it will take 29th iteration to reach the final answer. If I take 0 as my initial gate and what I am answer getting 2.2790 and let me check 2.2790 yes. So, the answer of this has been cross verified. Okay. Now, let us check what will happen if I take the initial gate as 2 instead of 0. So, you will find your answer in almost 2 iterations only two iterations are required to reach the answer. Okay. So, if I take the initial guess as 1, no, it is going to show me an error. Why? Because division, zero division error. So, what is going to happen in this formula that is mentioned on 11th line, that is the condition of convergence, it will have a form of 0 by 0. So, which is an undefined form. So, that is why it is not going to run for x initial case x 0 equal to 1. Okay. Now, let us check for initial case 3 whether it is going to run. Yes, it is going to run, but again it will take one more iteration to reach the answer. Okay. As the value of root is nearer to 2, so while taking 2 as an initial case, it is going to show a minimum iteration. I hope you all, of, you all are clear with this numeric uh, Newton Raphson method.
finding out the root by Newton Raphson method. Thank you all for watching this video.